These people, that is this our Fulani men, they too they understand their animals hundred percent of life because they are their drinks, they are their food, they are their way of life, hospital, everything they used to do their life with through this kind of animals. So they must have good understanding, good relationship. That is the reason why if they say the, if they if they mention the name of that cow, the cow will respond. If you say like you are warning it. Don't do that. Like you are warning to your children or you are you are student for this time. Don't do that. So it's like that. You see? If you say you mean that you ask them to settle themselves, to arrange themselves. If you say you will see them all they will they will they will listen. Even if they are eating food, you say call you say means that come, come, come. That is come, come, come. If you say, leave it, leave it, don't do it. It's something like this. If you say, that is attention. The Fulani ethnic group is a semi-nomadic group of mainly pastoralists found in West and Central Africa. In Nigeria, the Fulani are mostly found in the northern part of the country, traditionally called Fube. Their native language is Fulfulde. There are over 8 million Fulanis in Nigeria. The majority of Fulfulde speaking Fulanis live in Adamawa. Due to their nomadic lifestyle, they are hardly ever settled in one location as they move across borders in search of pasture. In the 19th century, cattle routes ran through Niger, Chad and Cameroon into Nigeria. By 1964, the Nigerian government gazetted 6.4 million hectares of forest reserve for grazing. This is Samandam in Yola South local government area of Adama State, a traditional cattle route where pastoralists moving from the south in Cameroon move towards the north in Niger Republic. And this water, the dam here, is where the herders will usually stop by for some water for their cattle. But due to population growth and development, there are houses now built on this cattle route, meaning that maintaining this cattle route is no longer feasible. And this has resulted in clashes sometimes between the communities and the pastoralists. With clashes often turning violent, negative stereotypes about the Fulani ethnic group were reinforced. Ulayre, a Fulani hamlet in Yola South local government area of Adama State. It is home to semi-nomadic Fulanis, the Jafun and Ba'aji, some of whom migrated from Jigawa State about two decades ago. In keeping with tradition, Members of the community are gathered here for the wedding ceremony of six couples. But this is not a conventional wedding ceremony. Unlike other cultures, preparations for the big day began 15 years ago without the consent of the intended couple.
the wedding ceremony is entirely an affair between parents of the couple supported by the community. Al Adamu Aure Twingari Natana Garamatana Baya Agoe Al Adam Fulani Baba Yaro, Ko Mama Yaro, Ia Gayarina Agoe, as a Yaruna Naka Mama Yarona, Tuntana Garamatana Baya. Ana 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 tafiya ana tafiya an kai kamar sai kara biyar shi da dauki dan shuyid da sauran kayan kulliya a kai mata an kai mata goro har yaje shekara goma zuwa 11 zuwa 12 akwai wanda suke cewa shede murdi akai shede murdi ya kai shekara 14 zuwa 15 sai hada I say, I want to go to the house. I want to go to the house. I want to go to the The communal bond is strong to the extent that every household is expected to bring food for the feast and gifts for the couple. The reception for guests here is not entirely the responsibility of the host. It is the tradition for couples not to be seen until two weeks after the ceremony. It will take at least six weeks after the ceremony before the marriage is consummated. But the couple are not entirely strangers. In most cases, they are cousins and natives of the same community. In an hada an sha iyaye sun hada aure sun hada watan da kona watan ranka ja da kona ka ja ja daura aure wace da wane. In an je daura aure kamar ran sha ti ida amarya in ya ta gudu ta tafi don kunya. A daura aure a bayan ta ba ta san wa mai gidan ta ba mai gidan ma haka ya ji labari ja a daura aure ita ma shi ma sai ya tafi shi ma sai ya tafi ya je kunya kulaku shine kulaku full full de a jama'a suna da yawa jama'a suna da yawa ka gan sunan ga sunan ya kai kutan 100 tukuna ma haidare yayi masu hira su zo masu innan jomba ko wani fulatan cewa innan jomba na al'ada gargajiya ana bukan gora ana rawa ga wadi garaya sauran manya manya mutane manya manya bakin da an walima yanzu da koma a bar yara sai dinga wasa al'ada fulani kenan Sauti come Sauti in Allah ya kawo ko da tafiya kake in ka zo ka fada bikin nan dai to alhamdulillah kai ma ja ka ji albarkaci kamar biki haka al'adam fulani da yanka saniya da defa nama da sauran su sai an defa komai a hada su mata su kayan miya da sauran su da kayan miya da fura su ne aikin mata amma nama a yanka saniya a yanka nama a jara a defa majane suke yi in an hada an defa sai a je a hada gaba da sai kwaba sai a rera ba mutane alhamdulillah This is the new home where the young couple 
begin their matrimony. It is usually erected by friends and family. Gara <laughs> Mi hokki mo amana Allah to joggina yam bingel am ta o nyama ngel amana kanko bo bingel debbo mi yidi o jogga gorko mako ha yahi warti fu nda ndiyam nda nyamdu a dogga lawlaw a beita a resa ta gorko ma heba basi rai ha mala mi do wada na be fata Allah hokka be jonde jam It is the belief of the Fulani that this leaf, known in the local Fulfulde language as Barkeje, brings peace and blessings to the new home. Magana Malken Nang Munga Dani Munsa Mesi Tun Tun Kakanin Takakanin Muni Yazaman Toka Mangado Kuma Abundaya Samun Bichi Irinza in Achikim Fulani Aini Him Fulani in Kataka one Nang ko won eki suke yi ka daga kalgon nan ka ce mag don Allah don kalgon nan ko won eki za su yi won eki ka yaga ma tun bari kuma akwai woni wuri akwai su woni wuri babu su woni wuri ma ba za su girma ba har su girma sosai amma ya kamata in aini hi fulani a same shi inda rugan sa yake duk a samu kalgo don maganan kalgon nan ya zaman to mamu gado ya zaman to mamu kayan fulaku in kataga kalgode ko da fada ne ake yi ana sare sare in ace don Allah don an daga kalgode shi kenan komi ya gama don si wannan barken nan a duk a itasen da fulani suke eh hurda da su ba itasen da kai barke kai kargo don kargo kargo nan shine yajan si in ya fado ma a kasa ya ka ji kosan kosan kuma shine nono kosa min kaji kosa to shine nono nono kuma shine kowanne mutum duk kowanne abu mai rai kowanne abu mai rai zai zai fara da nono to mu kowanne ita sai in in ya in dan siya fara da zaka ji yayi fuf amma barke in dan siya fara da zaka ji sai in sai kosa to saboda haka mu inganta shi a fulaku mu inganta shi a fulaku kuma har yau har gobe in dai an sai maka barke dai to gaba da in ko babba ko ko yaro ne in dai ya tuba da barke ko kuma ya zuwa sai wani ko kai ko wani abu ne ba so ba fulata ni ya taba in ya daga in ya dauke eh kargon nan ya dora kai shi ya roki fulaku to wannan ka magana shi ya kwanta ba za a taba shi ba In October 2022, a district head of Duhu in Adamawa State, Al Haji Mustafa Sanusi, was reported to have brokered peace between some conflicting parties in his community using Barkeje as a bait. It's a mystery to many how a community could have so much wealth yet remain poor despite the economic fortunes they contribute to the economy.
the livestock market in Nigeria accounts for about 10% of the agricultural gross domestic product, with 7.6% of the Nigerian population involved in pastoral activities, most of whom are of the Fulani extraction. With the price of a cow in Nigeria costing as much as 800,000 naira to 1 million naira, cattle rearing is a benefit not only to the Fulanis, but to an entire value chain that cuts across ethnic groups, religion, and social status. From the horns to the hooves, nothing goes to waste when it comes to the value that cows contribute to the economy, including the cow dung. In the milk, we are feeding with it. Two, even the, the manure is fertilizer to us, the dissin of the cow. And wherever this cow settle, if they leave the flesh, the flesh will be very, very important. It will be manure flesh. Even if you will plant something, it will grow at time. How much millions are made daily by transporters, just by transporting cattle from the north to south? Do we have us own those stocks? How much has been made from the veterinary medicine that has been sold every day and bought by people owning cattle? Do we own those veterinaries? How much is made by the butchers? Are we the butchers? How much is made by catering services who rely on us for meat and everything? Do we own those businesses? So from what, from what world can anyone look at a harder and say he is a mini Nigerian, he is a semi Nigerian, he is a terrorist? This is Wuru Transnational Cattle Market in Yobe State, Nigeria. The market, established in the 1980s, is a major hub for cattle traders from across Nigeria as well as neighboring Chad and Niger. Amidst Nigeria's high unemployment rates, thousands are making brisk business here. Suya is a popular beef barbecue made from cattle and sold across Nigeria. Al Haji Garba Babana has been in the suya business for over four decades in Yola at the Mao State. He receives orders from different parts of the country. <laughs> Nkawopan Nigeria's cattle herds are estimated 
at over 16 million, which is 25% of the livestock herds in the West African sub-region. Yet, domestic production is unable to meet local demand. A report by GEMS Research, a World Bank-funded project, estimates annual domestic and imported slaughtering of cattle at around 7.5 million, equivalent to 1 million tons, with a livestock value of 525 to 550 million naira, an indication of the market potential for cattle breeders. This is Sokoto Dairy Plant. It has the capacity to process 5,000 liters of fresh milk daily and sell to the market as yogurt. Pastoralists account for about 90% of daily output of dairy milk in the country, usually processed for local or commercial consumption. The milk could be converted to local dairy products such as nono, local milk, and wara, local cheese, usually distributed and sold informally on the streets with a small amount used for household consumption. Commercial processors operate at larger scale using a combination of locally produced and imported milk to produce a variety of dairy products sold in the formal market. Nigeria spends between $1.2 billion, an equivalent of 106 billion naira, and $1.5 billion, an equivalent of 1.32 billion naira annually on milk and dairy imports. One more. A low-calorie delicacy made of cow skin is popular in Nigerian markets. Served in local meals, many look to pomo as an alternative source of protein. A bag containing 12 pieces of pomo could cost as much as 35,000 naira. In 2020, Nigeria exported $26.7 million, an equivalent of 238 million naira worth of animal hides and skins, including pomo, according to data from the International Trade Center. Although a huge percentage of the cow skin are consumed as pomo, Nigeria's exports of hides and leather were $92.18 million, an equivalent of 813 million naira in 2021. The leather processing sector also employs over 750,000 workers, with about 500,000 workers in the finished leather goods sector. The list of items made from the byproducts of cows is enormous, but here are a few worth mentioning. Keratin, a protein made from cow hooves, is used in the manufacture of fire extinguisher form. A cow byproduct called steric acid is used to make car tires. Glue made from beef protein is used to manufacture car bodies. Hydraulic brake fluid is made from cow fat. Dynamite is made using glycerin, which is derived from cow fat. Cow intestines are used for making natural god strings in tennis rackets. More than 100 individual medications consist of beef byproducts. Beef-based fat acts as a binding agent for asphalt used in road construction. Camel hair Paint brushes are usually made from the fine ear hair of cows. Ingredients in cosmetics, hand soap, and toothpaste can be made from cow fat. Many plastics, like commercial shopping bags, contain chemicals which are derived from animal fat. 
a derivative of rendered cattle, sheep, and horse fat, is found in some brands of fabric softener in order to make clothes feel soft. For some Nigerians, the phrase Fulani herdsman evokes negative connotations, calling up images of marauding killer herdsmen wrecking havoc. There have been numerous media reports of some Fulani herdsmen killing, kidnapping, and even rustling cattle. But is the entire ethnic group culpable for the sins of some? Could the Fulani ethnic group be suffering from the dangers of a single story? Let me start with the idea <clears throat> that Fulanis are, or the herders are blamed for insecurity. Who do we blame for Boko Haram? Is there one category of people that we blame for Boko Haram? Do we blame Muslims? We don't. At least you read our newspapers. Do we blame Ijo for and the Niger Delta ethnic groups or farmers somewhere for the crisis in the Niger Delta? Who do we now blame for the... Do we blame Igbo for the uh, national crisis in the Southeast? Why is it different for the others? Why don't we look at the crisis as what it is? The result of the failure of our state to manage its social security and social well-being of its citizens, which always results to this kind of crisis. For national development, government has a duty to provide an inclusive society where people have equal opportunities to thrive. With over 250 ethnicities, over 500 languages, and a youthful population, Nigeria has a truly diverse demographic advantage. However, managing the cultural sensibilities of these diverse ethnicities requires concerted efforts to ensure peace and prosperity for all.